Today, RSA code, made easy. You need to understand modular arithmetic to get a handle on RSA code. So if what's up on the screen now scares you or you don't understand it, well then this is not the video for you. So here's a typical problem that you might find on a test or an exam. A company encodes using the rule that x becomes x to the power of 197 modulo 3131. Crack the code. So before we crack the code, let's just make sure we understand how the encoding works. The coding instructions are in blue, and that's what was in the test. So the idea is if we wanted to code up 1528, we raise 1528 to the power of 197, and then take the remainder when we divide by 3131. And that gives us 2933. Just for fun, I've coded up a message. I've taken every letter and converted it to numbers by using A equals 1, B equals 2, etc. Then I've grouped them together to give myself a four-digit number, and then I've coded up using the coding that we've just seen. I'll decode the message in the credits at the end of the video. So now to decoding. Step 1, the euler totient function. This tells us that if we have two primes, p and q, then the euler totient function of the product is equal to p minus 1 times q minus 1. So in our case, 3131 is actually the product of two primes, 31 and 101. And so you can see the calculations there that the euler totient function is 3000. Step 2, Euler's theorem. This tells us that if we raise x to the power of the euler totient function of n, then we'll end up with a number equivalent to 1 mod n. So in our case, in mod 3131, this tells us that x, whatever x is, to the power of 3000 is equivalent to 1. Now we can square numbers in modular arithmetic. Um, so if we square both sides, we get x to the 6,000 is equivalent to 1 modulo 3131. In fact, if you think about it, we can raise x to the power of any multiple of 3,000, and we'll still get 1 modulo 3131. Now let's multiply both sides by x. So on the left-hand side, we get x to the power of 3,000t plus 1, and that is equivalent to x. Now if you think about the power there, that's really just any number that is equivalent to 1 modulo 3000. So I'm going to use slightly unusual notation and say that x to the power of 1 modulo 3000 is equivalent to x. And this gives us some insight into this coding and decoding because it's saying if we take a number x and raise it to one of these special powers, well, then we'll get back to our original number. OK, step three, finding an inverse. Here's the equation that we've got to so far. Now let's have a think about how the coding and decoding works. We have the number x to the 197, and then to decode it, we're going to raise it to some power, which I'll call d here, and that will get us back to x. So x to the 197, all to the power of d, is equivalent to x. We can now use the exponent or the power rule to say that x to the 197 times d is equivalent to x. If we now compare the first and the third lines, well, we can come to this conclusion, and it's important. So I've done it in red, and with a white background, and with a black box around that 197d must be equivalent to 1 mod 3000. That's how we work out the decoding number. Now to the final step, the extended Euclidean algorithm. If you've watched the video so far, my guess is that you recognise the equation in red is really asking us to work out the inverse of 197 modulo 3000. And the way to do that is the extended Euclidean algorithm. We take the 3000 and the 197 and work out the remainder. 
Then we take the 197 and the remainder and work out a new remainder. And we continue this process until we can go no further when we'll end up with 1 as a remainder and that's the GCD of 3197. For the extended part we take the 1 which we know is equal to 6 minus 1 times 5, that was the last line of the Euclidean algorithm. The second last line of the Euclidean algorithm tells us that 5 is equal to 11 minus 1 times 6. So we can substitute that in here to get rid of the 5, which will give us 1 in terms of multiples of 6 and 11. And then we keep repeating this process, getting rid of the 6, the 11, etc., until we get right up to the top of the Euclidean algorithm that involves 197 and 3000. So we can express 1 in terms of multiples of 197 and multiples of 3000. We can now rearrange this and express it as follows. We have 1 equals 533 times 197 minus 35 times 3000. We take the modulo 3000 of both sides so the 35 times 3000 disappears mod 3000 and we're left with 1 equals 533 times 197. If we just rearrange that slightly um, we end up with 197 times 533 is equivalent to 1 modulo 3000. If we now compare the two equations in red we come to the conclusion that D which is the decoding key for the RSA code is equal to 533. So now we can actually uh, provide a solution to the test or exam question which has been waiting patiently in the top left hand corner of the screen. And so the answer is that the company decodes using the rule that y becomes y to the power of 533 modulo 3131. That's it for RSA Code Made Easy. I hope you found it useful.